Hey guys, this is Arnoldless98, and I just got back from Brick Fair last night, like midnight. Got back to New York. It was like a seven hour drive, eight hour. Luckily, there's no traffic, and I really like to thank my parents for driving me back and forth, especially my dad. And yeah, anyways, Brick Fair was so much fun. I met so many people. Uh, a lot of people I see, like their works online on Flickr and stuff, and just awesome to meet them in person. Especially the uh, customizers like uh, Yale, especially. It was nice meeting you, man. And uh, Shane, uh, The Last Prime, uh, Aaron, uh, Lego Mag 9, and a bunch of other people. Uh, yeah. It was fun hanging around at the customize, uh, custom minifigure area. And um, I kind of got kind of getting a little inspired to do some more uh, custom minifigures. I only made like three really bad ones, just simple jobs like that. And Yale helped me put some e-tape on this guy, the first order officer. And it's it's kind of rough on my side because it's my first time doing it, but it was fun still. Anyways, yeah, it was fun meeting a lot of people. I know I haven't seen a lot of people that come to my channel in person. Just uh, Yale, Logan, uh, Logan Film Studios, and some random, really shy kid who's who really wanted to meet me after like a whole year, and he just stared at me for a few seconds and ran off. I stated in my last vlog that I I don't talk to people unless they talk to me first, and yeah, I wonder who that is. I'm pretty sure you got scared because I was gonna make you step on these Lego bricks here. I, I was thinking a bucket, but stepping on individual bricks hurt more. Yeah, whoever that was, hint hint. So that was awesome. Um, yeah, good food too. Lots of barbecue stuff and uh, uh, French fries and popcorn too. I love popcorn. So I was there uh, Friday afternoon and all the way there till Sunday. I had to leave around like 4 exactly when it closed because I live far away. And just awesome these whole days. I know I'm pretty awkward in person. I like, sometimes I like to walk around like mindlessly, just like randomly. And I'm really bad at making eye contact. But I think I got better interacting with people, showing off my transformers and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to post pictures there. I didn't do much there, like videos or vlogs. I kind of just like soak everything in, just enjoy it because it's my first time there. So no videos of myself or anything. I took pictures of my Transformers, a little bit on my phone. And yeah, so I don't do any footage. You can easily watch it. Everyone films everything, so you always check that out. Especially someone's video. They only film my stuff. Uh, yeah. What else? Yeah, all my Transformers are there. They're all in this box right here. Just I just shoved them in. I, I had back before when I brought them in, they were kind of organized in vehicle mode, just stacked up nicely. And then at the end, I just decided to shove them all in there. So they were all in here. Same thing here. Uh, my Optimuses, they kind of got squished. They kind of just threw them in there. My Transformers were fun, but I can't believe so many people wouldn't believe that they actually transformed. It's kind of weird, but then again, like people could just make movie models and just impress people like that. Yeah, a lot of people recognize the Bayformer. It's the earlier movies more than Age of Extinction, though. And some uh, Transformers Prime, Shockwave especially, and Movie Optimus, since they're pretty recognizable from their G1 version, since I don't really do G1, but a lot of people recognize that stuff. And I transform a lot of my Transformers, of course. Um, I transform Bumblebee a ton of times, because he's an easily recognizable character, and he's really sturdy to transform. And I love his alt mode, too. So He actually might be one of my favorites now, thinking about that. And of course, a lot of people asked me to transform Optimus, but he takes like 10 minutes to transform. I know I showed it off like a few times to some people. And people messed around with my mini bone crusher, which I'll get him out. Oh. He's probably the only transformer in one piece still. He's really sturdy. Mini bone crusher. Oh, let's have that part. I'll probably make instructions for him if you guys want. He's just really, really easy. And he uses the ball joints. I don't really... I don't really use that much, so it's really easy. And what else? Uh, of course, my non-transformer stuff is also pretty popular, like my Minecraft. People pointed out Hero Brian at the bottom of my uh, giant cave thing. It's Hero Brian, like <laughs> it's very cute. And uh, my uh, Thomas the Train thing I made with the Nixel Space also got some good reception, I guess. Yeah, next year I probably make have more transformers, of course, and of course I'll try to do more custom minifigures. I'm not showing you off this time because they're not that good. And yeah, got a lot of signatures on my Brick Fair thing. It was very nice. Not, not as much as, as other people, but it was nice meeting everybody. And yeah, 
And of course, I got some good loot. Well, here's my name tag thing. Nice. I have the sticker. I forgot what store these came from. These little printed tiles. The Empire and the Rebellion. I got for a dollar each. And onto the haul. First of all, I got a lot of good stuff at the yard sale. I didn't spend too much. I spent like 40 bucks at least. First of all, I got Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Right here. It didn't have any minifigures. It was mostly complete. It was my, it's missing one missile, and I replaced one of the pieces in the bottom because it didn't have that. I got this for five bucks. Yeah, five bucks just by itself. Now I, re I really have to get Obi Wan's now, which is good because it's actually in. Uh, it's like uh, it's, as it's still out now. And the good thing I have, I almost have all the Jedi Star interceptors. I have the Obi Wan's blue one with the hyperspace ring. Uh, Anakin's a green one with the Mustafar, and uh, I have the old yellow one too which it's on a display stand, I don't want to take off. And next from the yard, I think this, yeah, I only got two things from the yard sale. People just put out their stuff and you just uh, buy it, I guess. I got Ray's speeder, it's all complete. It was all taken apart into little pieces in the bag. Uh, 15 bucks instead of 20 when it retailed, it's all there. Uh, Ray's headpiece here. I decided to get it, I wanted to get Ray by herself, but people with the vendors were selling her for like 10 bucks, but I just pay five dollars more to get her speeder and Unker's thug, so I might as well go for it. This is what I got from the yard sale, twenty bucks total. So, and after that, I decided to hunt down the minifigures for Anakin's interceptor. So I got R2 for six bucks, and Anakin for a seven, I think. So I have the whole set for like eighteen dollars, cheaper than retail. So I'm really happy about that, especially since it's hard to come by. And one last thing, uh, two last things. I got uh, Kylo Ren from. Uh, the Battle Attack of Nana. He's missing his mask and his uh, lightsaber. I got him for 11 bucks. He's kind of hard to find, but I just don't want to get this set. So there he is, Adam Driver. <laughs> I love his face. And I got this Pokemon Go um, tile from Eclipse Graphics. I probably need to bricklink the rest of Kylo Ren's stuff. So Kylo Ren, yeah. His stuff, yeah. So yeah, this is, has been really fun at Brick Fair. I know I've, I probably have more things to talk about, but I can't fit it in this video. It's a great time in general, and I uh, um, hope you guys saw a little preview of my uh, Western Star Optimus Prime, because I'm going to do his video really soon. Like, maybe tomorrow. Hopefully we get time. Uh, I need to put him together still. He got squished in the bag, so I'll put him together. And uh, I was really disappointed, because I really wanted to see someone, but all they did was just stare at me and just went off. Some random kid in the hoodie. Dude, you don't really do that. You should... Talk to me at least. You've been, we've been waiting a year for this. Yeah, this has probably been it. I probably have more to say, but I want, this video is like eight minutes long now. So, this has been Arna Bless 98, and I'll be back for uh, Western Star Prime's uh, video, and I'll see you guys.